Today I want to share with you five tips for beginners so that you're not left standing in the rain like me right now. Stock investing is actually a lot easier than people think. I like to compare it with going to the market to buy food. As a matter of fact, I believe stock investing is easier than buying food. Let's take apples. If you want to buy apples, there are only, not only many different kinds of apples, there are also many different kinds of stands that have these apples, and they have many different prices. If you want to buy the stock apple, there's only one stock, and there's only one price, no matter where you buy it. It's a lot easier. And the same, by the way, is true for oranges. But of course, you need to know a few things. You need to know what you want to buy, the products that you're going to buy on the market. You need to know where you can buy it, where is the market for the stocks, and you need to know where to store it. You can't store your stocks in the refrigerator. You need something different. So what is a stock? Some people think a stock is a lottery ticket, but a stock is actually a share of a company. You become an owner of a company and you have the right to part of the profits of the company. That's why stocks are really interesting for long-term savings. Then you need to know where to buy the stock. You have to buy it at a stock exchange. Now, think of a stock exchange a little bit like eBay. You just go there to purchase what you want. After you have it, it's yours. The stock exchange doesn't matter anymore. So you can pick the cheapest stock exchange that sells your stock. Then you need to put the stock in a brokerage account. That's important. Brokerages do all the administrative work to administer your stock. So now that you know the basics, the next thing you need to do is you need to plan. You need to plan your life, how much you spend, how much you make, and how much you need for retirement. That gives you the amount that you need to save and invest in the stock market. I have a saying for that. Slowly in, slowly out, that's what safe investing is all about. So at the beginning, you only use a small amount. That's really important. Now this all sounds really serious, but it shouldn't be. Take it light. You're going to start with a small amount and then you can look at it like play. And then you play to learn and you'll learn to play. Now, of course, like the kids on the playground, you will fall. The important thing is that you get up again. And why is all that not a problem? Well, because you start with small amounts. This is really important. At the beginning, just use small amounts. That means, even if you lose a big share, it's only a big share of a small amount, and that is not really a problem, because the more you learn, the more you profit later. It is a game, but it is not a gamble. Don't gamble. How can you identify gambling? Well, the first indicator is, if you don't understand it, it's most likely a gamble. If you don't get it, don't do it. Commodities, currencies, options. Not even professionals really understand what these instruments are. That's gambling. <laughs> and another indicator that is actually quite good to identify gambling is your excitement. The more excited you get about something, the more likely it is a gamble. And that includes going in and out of the market quickly. So when you start stock investing, first you need to learn the basics about stocks, about stock markets, and where to keep them. Then you need to plan. You need to plan your life. You need to plan your investments. At this point, it becomes fun. Play. Play to learn, learn to play. And when you fall, get up again. And finally, very important, don't gamble. I wish you a lot of success with your own investing.